What's up guys? We're here with my boy Prob, three days out from Junior USA's. And we just wanted to jump on here. Well, first of all, to congratulate Prob on coming this far. And uh, you know, if if you know Prob at all, you know he's he's the hardest worker in the room, if not one of the. But um, anyway, I just wanted to jump on here and let you know how to become an Iron Bully sponsored athlete. I think that for one, you have to have perseverance, dedication, and just overall a love for what you do and a love for your community. It's uh, something that I've seen day in and day out um, through just watching Prob and his involvement in uh, becoming the manager for Elevate Sports Nutrition and uh, one of the top athletes that Iron Bullies has ever had in its roster. Um, so it's definitely a privilege for myself to be able to be in the position to sponsor Prob and just see his hard work day in and day out. Um, if this is something that you are trying to pursue yourself, though um, it is an opportunity that only comes once in a while to us because of our growing phase, it's definitely not out of the question. So it's just more or less about having a plan, letting us know, you know, how you can become an asset to the company, how we can help you grow as well, and just being up to the task. Anytime I have ever asked Prop to do something, he's he's up to it, he gets it done, no questions asked. And uh, I think that that's definitely a quality that uh, is uh, definitely inspiring from such a young person. So, you know, I'm just looking forward to seeing the, the turnout of Prop's competition. And uh, no matter what he comes home, with uh we're extremely proud of him and i know he knows that and um you know i hope you guys are enjoying the process of him putting himself out there through our youtube channel and just being open and vulnerable because it's definitely a teachable moment and something that you know a lot of young people that are are pursuing this lifestyle can learn from i think for myself being a sponsored athlete when you really look at it Obviously, you see I have the bullies drip on. This is what I'm gonna wear for the airport, the tanning and all that good stuff. That you have to really be dedicated to your craft. And for me, it's awesome, man. I get to represent something from home. I'm taking home with me. I'm wearing home on me because Iron Bull is all about the community, all about the culture, all about Fresno and Clovis. Central Valley is what we represent. So for me to grow with a brand like Iron Bullies means a lot. It means a lot that they trust me and believe in me to go out here and perform and do the best I can. This is gonna be my best package ever. I know that for a fact. If it's enough come show day, that's great. And if it's not, guess what? We get back to work and we keep pulling that iron. Just kidding. Today we have a special video for you guys, a video that's special to me. It's gonna be a video of Iron Bullies sponsoring my show. Junior USA's, which is a big show to me, my first national show. I think the biggest thing about sponsorships is realizing what you offer to a company or to a business in general. How can I provide them a value? Another thing a lot of people forget during prep is being present in the moment. Um, I've learned since managing Elevate Sports Nutrition and Elevate South Valley that you have to be really present in the community. You have to be willing to give back to a lot of these people because a lot of these people don't understand what you're going through. So that doesn't mean you can put stuff on other people. Negative energy, how you're feeling throughout the day. I have been feeling super beat uh, this last week. It's been really hard. Um, energy levels are super low and depleted, but I'm in good spirits. And I've showed that at LMA South Valley and Just Lift Gym because I've been training there. A lot of the community has really embraced me out there. It's been an awesome feeling and an awesome experience. So today we're gonna show you how to become an Iron Bully sponsored athlete. didn't know is Edgar, he owns the shop, Elevate Sports Nutrition, Elevate South Valley, and official Iron Bullies as well. So I know a lot of people have been thinking that I own Elevate South Valley, I do not. That's the boss man right there. And he's provided a lot of people with opportunities, um, job opportunities at Elevate Sports Nutrition. We have a lot of guys working here, a lot of people at Elevate South Valley. We have the man behind the camera, Morty, who's also been offered an opportunity to film and record a lot of content for us. So it's been a blessing to have somebody who supports dreams and supports goals. Here's the check. This is for the purposes of uh, the thumbnail. Obviously, we'll do the whole cash, the cash uh, idea you were talking about, but So, all right, so, you know, a lot of a lot of inquiries come in day in and day out, you know, um, 
in regards to sponsorships and it's always a bittersweet feeling for myself just because you know i wish i could say yes to everybody obviously um you know being somebody that grew up with very minimal resources it's always been a dream to be able to just you know achieve the best life possible and uh you know to some extent uh, a lot of my life has been focused on becoming financially well off and though i'm still not where i would like to be i think i'm extremely grateful and blessed to to have achieved what i've done so far um but going back to you know the little things that i've created like iron bullies and you know buying out elevate sports nutrition a few years back it allowed me to see things from a different perspective and obviously it paints a different picture for people on how they perceive me or what they think I could afford to do or not you know um, so when I get these messages most of the time you know I have to one see what the person's all about uh, if there's somebody who's consistent if there's somebody who's a team player if there's somebody who aligns with the brand um, and for the most part, you know, I've made a decision a while back to kind of give my guys the first, the first dibs when it comes to sponsorship. So, though, um, you know, they kind of have competed at different times, I've been able to help, you know, quite a few people in the last couple of years of, of me doing what I do. Um, but to get to the bottom of it, if you want to be an Iron Bullies athlete, for one, you know, of course, be, be about the lifestyle. Be somebody who's dedicated to, uh, like Rob mentioned, being present in the community. Um, you know, if you're asked to do a specific task, um, you know, don't don't uh, hesitate to do something like that. I think that uh, we take it for granted that uh, these are opportunities that not everybody's presented with. So, if we're to really, you know, boil down what's important is just, you know, be somebody who's for the people. Um, because ultimately that's the reason why I launched my brand and that's what I wish to create and continue to create with it. I think, um, you know, supporting young people and their dreams is extremely important and, um, you know, whether that be financially or kind of just with words of, of wisdom or things that I've experienced in my lifetime, it's uh, different ways to help somebody. So, props somebody that I've... Uh, grown to see become who he is today and I have trusted him with uh, you know our full operation out in the South Valley so I'm extremely grateful um, but yeah if you're if you're looking for an opportunity like such man I mean I'm at the shop most of the time so you know definitely don't hesitate to come in here chop it up with us and uh, let's see what you're about because ultimately you know if we're in position to do so we will and uh, I can't wait to be able to open more doors for more people. One thing I wanted to touch on is if you are looking to become a sponsored athlete, like Edgar said before, I think you really need to look at yourself in the mirror and really do whatever task you're doing at 100%. You need to give a full valiant effort to show the person who is sponsoring you that you're worth the investment. You need to pretty much put in the work all the time and you need to go above and beyond those expectations because you need to sell yourself to a brand. You gotta show yourself Update. I'm two meals in right now, and you guys engage. I'm like, you are absolutely sliced. Yeah. Physique update. Stay tuned. We'll have a lot more content while I'm out there in South Carolina, and you guys will be seeing my massage on Saturday. Saturday. It's just the point where it's supposed to be at 9 a.m. Yeah, he changed it. So, yeah, can you do 9.30? I'm like, do I have a choice, man? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, don't for really real. got, I don't really got an option at that point. I'm leaving in yeah. two days. That's facts. Okay, Prob, it's all coming down to the wire. What's Six. going on right now? Six days out, guys. I fly out on Tuesday. Today is currently Saturday. Um, everything's coming together how it's supposed to. Uh, so, we had four load days in a row. Then we did a day where we added about 50 grams of carbs. Um, I lost a pound waking up the next morning after adding 50 grams of carbs. Then we added 125 grams of carbs. I lost another 0.2 pounds. And then last night we did 500 grams of carbs. 
and my weight was on a downward trajectory again. So we had to kind of recover that by adding some food back in. Um, so today's another 500 gram carb day, uh, just to see how the body reacts. And then the plan is to do three lower days in a row. And then from there, we're gonna actually start filling out and peaking for the show. So we're all ready, locked and loaded, ready to go. I just had to get all my stuff ready, stuff together. I got a big list on my notes already because I'm OCD about this type of stuff. So like, I don't like to forget anything. So I already have like a take with my Junior USA schedule, what I need, food items to get when landed and stuff like that. Just so there's a set plan going into it. Uh, I got a rental car out there already. I got the flight booked. So it's right now it's seeming like a seamless process to be honest. I got the worst day today to train. I got legs. Will said don't go hard. Can't squat or anything like that because obviously I'm getting work done right now so I'm not trying to really annihilate my body. I'm not trying to destroy it. I'm gonna go in there, probably hit extensions, hamstring curls, just some pump up work. And then I got chest tomorrow. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna train that yet. I haven't decided yet. So around this time period, period and all that with it being so close to the show, like what, how long is a workout typically for you right now? I would say an hour. Okay. An hour, especially because I'm training alone right now. So like if I'm alone, like an hour at max. That's all I train even in my off seasons though. I don't really like to push excessive volume. Uh, my issue is I like to go fast. Um, if you guys watch Bro Chat, you guys see Fua talk about how he's very fast paced. That's how I am. If I'm training alone, I'm very like, go, 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 go. Let's, let's keep moving. But sometimes that's not the most efficient and effective way to train in my opinion. Especially if you are training for your compound movements, I think you need that two to three minute rest in between compound movements to get that strength back, to get that CNS primed again for that next set. Um, obviously, if you're doing just like filler workouts, um, after you've done your compounds, it doesn't matter. I would say 60 second rest, knock it out, go to the next one, because then you're just essentially going for a pump and still chasing progressive overload. But I need to really focus this off season on taking my time, even if I am training alone on my heavier movements. Um, but then again, training training hasn't changed. I got asked the other day in the gym, what are you doing differently now? Are you training lighter? Nope, still went in yesterday. Uh, did the full stack on the side back shoulder press. Uh, hit the 125 pound dumbbells at GB3 for 15 reps, I think, something like that. So we're still training just as heavy and as hard. I think my body's used to it now. Why am I gonna change something when I feel good and I feel primed and ready to go? So right now we'll get this massage done. Go get this old broken body taken care of. And I'm excited, man. It's going to be fun. Um, I haven't really honestly been posting. Like, a lot of my pictures that I'm posting now on Instagram are old. Uh, just because it's not even about, like, oh, me trying to hide my physique because I still post stories and stuff like that. But there's just so much content that I've made throughout this prep in terms of videos, posing, and all that stuff that I have so much stuff on the back burner. And I'm going to need it, man, because after this one's a year off. And if you look back there... I got the secret weapon. It's under there. You guys will see what, what is that, that is come show day. <laughs> Nobody even knows what that is. That's that's mine and Will's. I'm taking that on the plane with me. <laughs> that's something that nobody knows about. Maybe I'll show you guys. Um, obviously, when I get back to the Airbnb out in South Carolina, I'll show you what that is. But if you have a small chest and your chest isn't your best body part and you need to get it pumped up backstage, you use that thing. Mystery box. <laughs> That's, that's a secret weapon back there. You ask me to use that and you're staying next to me and you're my competitor? Nope. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but um, going back to when you were speaking about the food and all that, you, you said your weight has been dropping and all that. So what is the weight right now? So my weight as of this morning is 176.6 pounds. Okay. Uh, today was the tightest I've woken up uh, this whole prep and that was after 500 grams of carbs. Um, essentially what's happening is my body is absorbing the carbs, utilizing them as glycogen, storing them into the muscle. Therefore, the muscle is getting fuller, but the skin is getting tighter to my body. Because obviously when you're flat, there's no pop to the muscle. It just looks deflated. Um, you actually start looking a little watery when you're super flat and you start to look like you're fat. But when you start reintroducing food, that's where your body really starts to pick that food up and use it and start storing it into the muscle. Therefore, if it goes into the muscle, that muscle is going to push through the skin, so it's going to look rock hard. I'll even show you guys some updates from last night that I sent Will, and he was like, like it was to the point where I was literally, I had not lost any conditioning, and I was just getting harder and harder, even for my back shot, like... 
you can just see the, the thickness, the density, and how hard and dry it looks still even from the bottom part of the back. Like, there's nothing there. Which means the, the body is utilizing the food and putting it in the correct areas. So I'm excited, man. I think realistically, all we'll really need, me and Will, for this show is about seven, 800 grams of carbs. Because um, obviously, we did 500 yesterday, and my body ran through that. And when you go into a show, protein levels are gonna drop, and you're gonna up carbohydrates to utilize them as glycogen, um, and to store them inside the muscle. So, like I was saying, when protein levels drop, you only wanna keep a specific amount of protein in. The only reason you wanna have protein in still towards peak week is because, obviously peaking for a show is because you wanna stabilize blood glucose levels. Fats can do that, proteins can do that as well. So you wanna keep a small amount in, but obviously we're not trying to preserve tissue the last couple days. The tissue's there, it's gonna stay. Uh, with super supplementation, tissue's gonna stay, you know what I mean? So the biggest goal then is just to fill out the frame and get it ready to rock, because I feel good. I'm actually a little bit nervous for this one though, which isn't normal for me. Um, I think I'm nervous just due to the fact that the time I've put into the show um, has been crazy and like my, my, my focus has been very much just been on the show, but I'm nervous because of the posing routine. This time around I practiced something worked on it so now it's like and if I go on stage and I mess this up it's like damn I worked for this yeah. I practice this every single day but we're still tweaking my posing right now because some of the shots I'm still not hitting um, exactly how my posing coach wants me to and stuff like that um, I'm turning a little bit way too much to the side I need to face more forward so I fixed those issues these last couple days